We're racing Badger Mountain 100 mile this weekend. This is gonna be my 400 mile this year already. That was a great race. Thanks for organizing, thanks to the volunteer. Really challenging, a lot of gain, but also a lot of wind and really cold up there. We're racing Badger Mountain 100 mile this weekend. This is gonna be my 400 mile this year already. A little bit before the show starts, I get a little nervous. I've done the distance before, so I know I can do the distance, but it's still 100 mile and you really don't know how it's gonna go. Yeah, we're gonna be out there for a while. And then you think about everything that will be challenging, everything that will be difficult. And then I think the trick is to, to think about how you're gonna conquer that. I think for this race, what I'm particularly worried about is the wind and the cold. Especially at night when you're tired, you're maybe a little sweaty, but you're also not able to run anymore. So one of the big tips I think if you wanna avoid blister, at least for me, is to pre-tape my feet and wear two pairs of socks. So one liner sock, super tiny, it's absorbing the, the sweat and then another pair of socks, which is um, smart wool. We're gonna try and take it super slow for the first lap to have energy for the night and be able to stay warm. Mile zero, excited. Start a course directly with Badger Mountain, and it's not super steep. It really takes a lot of discipline to not run the whole thing. Charlie, yeah, Charlie, it'll be an adventure. We're going on an adventure, Charlie. Mile three, adventure. Well, what do you know? There actually is a candy mountain.
Mile six. Teamwork makes the dream work. with the singing already. My first stop is over there, Charlie. Super flat, there's basically nothing to see on the right, some mountain and the town. And because there's no trees here, it's super windy on the ridge. Okay, we're close to the turnaround, I hope. This segment has been a little longer than I expected. 
This toilet is a jackass prank waiting to happen. Oh god, what is that? I'm Steve O and this is the Pooh Cocktail Supreme. <laughs> Good luck. You ready to go? No. Oh my god. Jump in that lake right now. Oh my god. Oh my god. Mile 24. It's for real now. I'm really trying to stick to my game plan this time around. Which means I take my time at aid station. Always grab some food, take time to drink a lot. Walking the uphill even if I know I could run right now. But knowing that at some point I'll be tired, so let's push the point where I'll be tired to later if possible. Good job. As you can see, nothing. <laughs> Mile 27, slowing down. Mile 30, hunger 80. It's going okay, I'm starting to feel my leg and my ankle a little bit. I already have pretty bad blisters. But I'm not too cold at the moment. Tonight is gonna be really bad, especially on the ridge. Thank you. I'll try to keep a lot of energy. I've been eating a lot, which is good, because I'll need to stay strong late in the game. We're all the way there. Thirty-three miles, sunny. That is extremely steep. The vineyard part is extremely long and I keep thinking I have to redo everything again tonight in both direction mile 36 pain already mile 39 brief second wind I'm really feeling it already it's gonna be quite a challenge to redo everything tonight. I know I'm repeating myself, but it's very true. Even just getting to the start finish now. So 10 miles sounds like a lot to me. But I'm breaking it down by 8 station now, five miles at a time. That sounds, that sounds reasonable, right? So this is already my 400 mile this year and 16 and 16 months. If you like this video, make sure to leave a thumbs up. That's really helping me a lot. Or leave a comment below. What's coming up next? Zion maybe. Then it's going to be bang bang, really tough race, cruel jewel, and bad water. So a really cool adventure coming up. A little worried about it to be super honest. <laughs> Mile 42, moving forward. There's been quite a few rain uh, clouds around us. I hope there's no rain tonight.
I'm doing a lot of visualization right now of how I would feel when I'm here in 50 miles. Mile 45, claustrophobic. Good job. You can see a lot of the course from here. The Sugar Mountain. You do know that there's no actual candy mountain, right? Sean the non-believer. Sean. Sean. And then the vineyard over there and way past there is the mountain with the ridge. So we basically see the whole course except the Badger Mountain which we're doing right now. Forty-eight temptation. So we all have a choice when we get to the start finish line after our first lap. If we want to switch to 50 mile, no hard feeling. You get a finish on the 50 mile, no DNF. I just want to say thank you to all the volunteers. It's very tempting to do that but I decided to turn around and stay strong. I don't feel strong. And it's always the same, it's, damn, there's so much left. I have to do everything I've done again. Can I really do that? Only one way to find out. Mile 51, here we go again. Good job. Okay, we're coming down Badger. Then after, we're going on an adventure. We're going to Candy Mountain. Candy Mountain, Candy Mountain. You fill me with sweet, sugary goodness. Candy Mountain! Candy Mountain, Charlie! Well, this is gonna be the last aid station during the day. Then it's always gonna be cold as fuck. 54, intimidated by the challenge. Job. Made it to the top of Candy Mountain. Yeah, Candy Mountain, right. I'm just gonna, you know, go back to sleep now. But I'm sleepwalking, really really struggling it's gonna be a long night jeez fifty seven moving forward oh, we're back here not feeling so fresh oh little mouse hey there everybody Okay, I've been sleepwalking a lot. Finally made it to the aid station, but it's really a slug fest. I'm struggling so much. Mile 60, sleepwalking. Six, 63 blisters. We're finally out of the vineyard, not sleeping, 
This is really a slug fest right now. Whew. This is right here. It's not too cold, so that's good. Mile 66. Worried about the challenge ahead. Going out there now. <laughs> That's the worst part. Can't wait to be back. You're looking good. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Getting some food in you. Yeah, yeah. Change clothes. I have everything I need to do it, so let's do it. It's super windy, super steep, very painful for my Achilles. Mile 72 on top of the world. Mile 75. I guess the end is near? No. Ah, still a marathon to go. Since that aid station, I've been pretty good at running. At least the downhill, sometimes the flat. Let's just do it. Wow, being here is not quite, that, quite as nice as finishing, but it's pretty darn close. Alright guys, thank you so much. Mile 81, pain everywhere. Eighty-four miles. Can't wait to be done. And I haven't seen anyone in forever. It's going okay. I was able to run a little bit, but I'm really looking forward to be done. We're back at the vineyard. Sunrise is about an hour, so it's coming up soon. There's only two aid stations left, which is a great way to think about it and stay motivated. 87, ah, my feet. Mile 90, sunrise. Can't remember if I did, so mile 90, sunrise. Last time in the tunnel, gotta admit, not feeling great right now. Very happy, I'm almost done though. Feels pretty symbolic. Oh, it's Sugar Mountain. Candy Mountain! It's a land of sweets and joy and joyness. Nice job. Thank you. Crushing it. Yeah. Yeah, thanks. Mile 93. Sugar Mountain, fill us with your sweets. You fill me with sweet sugary goodness. So the short distance we're starting today is so I think 50k. So we're seeing them now. They're going so fast. That's scary. Good job. That's it. Last aid station. Good job. Thank you. Can I get just some coke? 
Yeah. Yeah. Thank you guys. The only thing standing between us and the finish line right now is Badger Mountain. Let's get it done. Six. It's all downhill from here. Mile 99, party time! Thanks. It was really special, it was really cool. I got to finish when I don't know what distance started, and a lot of them were volunteer. There's people I've seen throughout the adventure, so thank you so much. Uh, all right, I was able to bring it in around the last couple miles just for funsy. About 100, done. All right, nice thank you. Is it okay? Can I pet? Oh, absolutely. Oh. <laughs> right? Badger Mountain, done. That was a great race. Thanks for organizing. Thanks to the volunteer. Really challenging, a lot of gain, but also a lot of win and really cold up there. It was great catching up with Fanny, who's a Grand Slammer like me, but she's going to pace me this summer for bad water, so stay tuned. <laughs>